welcome back to the boat. First thing I've done today when I rocked up, put some caps on the star pickets to prevent that from happening again. Anyway, anyway. Today I want to start looking at ripping the engine out, I reckon. See if I can get some of the engine out and um, see how we go from there. All right, let's go have a look inside, see how much water we've gathered over the last week that I've been away. <laughs> so we've got a little bit of water in here. Um, all in all, not too bad. Not too bad. So, let's start looking at this guy. It's gonna be very awkward to get out of that gap. So I'm gonna see if I can dis dismantle as much of it as possible in here. Um, and take the sections out that I can then clean up and then maybe reassemble it all in here later when I get all the bits cleaned up. But we'll see how we go. So I've just unplugged all the uh, engine cables and bundled them all up in here. They're running up to the engine controls that are up on the deck up there. And um, so I'm gonna leave that bundle for now. I'll probably replace all these, these wires though up into there, but I'll leave it all together so that I can figure out what it all is and where it's all going later and make sure I get them all into the right spots. WD-40, it's everybody's friend. <laughs> Plenty of that going on. We've just disconnected the shaft from the motor. And look at that. It moves. We can get a bit of uh, sleeving in there. So we'll just need to get the seals checked. Make sure we're not getting any leaks through it all. Maybe I'll have to replace this seal. Um, but we can undo this. That can come off. Redo the seals in that part. The rest of it's pretty good. But look, we've got a good shaft. Shaft's nice and straight. Perfect. Now it's all disconnected. We can uh, get the engine out, hopefully. We've disconnected the, the main shaft. Loosen up that seal joint there, so we can at least take that. We might be able to slide it all off this end when we get the engine out. Now, the engine's pretty heavy. And we haven't got a huge gap. I did get a hold of a block and tackle and um, hooked it off uh, to a bit of steel just to see if it was gonna lift it. And it did lift it, so we can lift it up. But what I'm thinking is we're gonna need something a bit more heavy duty. I wanna get the floor down over in that area over there. The floor frame, maybe chuck some boards down on top of it and use that as a temporary workbench to work on the engine. Um, that way it's inside, it's covered, and I don't have to get it right out of the boat. Now what I had to do was rip out this whole bench. I was trying to keep it, I really wanted to keep it, but I had to rip it out. Um, it was a bit rotted around the base there, and uh, it's gonna make it easier to get the engine out. That's all, I don't wanna get rid of any of this stuff. It's beautiful, it's solid, it's original. That is what I wanna keep original in the boat and the doors. Everything else is gonna change. Um, which is fine. Got the muffler out, that's actually a plastic muffler. So it didn't matter that it was full of water, but it was full of water, it's crazy. Hot water system, that was still full. So I took that out, that drained out. Um, and I got rid of all the old plumbing. Look, here's one of the engine mounts. You know, that was there. Welcome back. So today we've gone to the shops, went to Bunnings, picked up some links of timber, got a bit of ply, and um, we're gonna put a floor in there so we can hopefully move the engine onto this floor 
and we'll start ripping the engine apart. Um, we'll work on the engine inside the boat. I reckon it's gonna be too tricky to get out of the boat, um, but we can take it apart, take it out piece by piece and fix it all up and then reassemble it in the boat to be able to prop it back in place. All right, let's see how we go. Flooring, a bit of a work area somewhere I can take the engine apart in here and put it on something. The other good news is during the week I, uh, I put the order through for all the timber and um, for the framework for all the floor, all the decking, the floor decking boards, the floorboards, all ordered on its way. So hopefully that gets in here in the next few weeks. But um, until then we've got a false floor, we can start taking the engine apart and put it all on here. Give me somewhere to stand and work in here at least. So we've nearly got the exhaust manifold and everything off, we've got the intake manifold off. The actual, uh, I took the rubber co rocket cover off and the valves, everything looks pretty good, it's just got a bit of oil on it. Checked in the dipstick and um, it doesn't look like there's a lot of water in the oil at all. It looks like it's it's just oil. So I think it's been sealed up pretty good um, considering how good everything looks on the inside. But we've got to take it all apart. We've got to clean it all up, everything. Okay, so we've got the exhaust manifold off and you can see how rusted and terrible that bolt was. In the end, we just had to we just drilled out the end and it moved a bit, so then we just gave it a tap, 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 and it slid off. So, that's good. That means we can get this out, clean it all out, and uh, put a new one in. There's a lot of work going on, like these are, these are ruined. All this needs a really good clean out. We need to take all the valves and everything off, um, and give this a real good clean out. Because it is rusty! She's loose. <sighs> Kinda. Oh, it's too hard to hold this bloody thing and do that. Does not look nice. Now I'm glad I didn't film that because it was a little dodgy, but uh, hey, the engine's out. It's up here. How good's that? A little bit of block and tackle, a little bit of support wood, a bit of steel. She came up alright. Now I can take off the gearbox from here pretty easily. Hopefully. Starter motor's rooted, we'll get a new one of those, get a new starter. That'll clean up, that'll clean up, that'll clean up. We'll have to get a new exhaust pipe made up, I reckon. Um, but it's looking all right. It's looking like we're getting somewhere with this engine. And now I've got a clear space. So now I can see what's going on with these mounts. And uh, you know how really bad they were holding down because <laughs> I could just rip it out so that's how much thread was holding it in okay cool well that's a good project for tomorrow rip out all that I'm pretty happy with that today um, 
that's awesome. Got the engine up. The insides are, are looking a lot better than I thought. So, I'm pretty stoked. All right. Let's just see how bad the gearbox is. Because <laughs> that could be expensive. That might, uh, look, let's do some more tomorrow. But um, otherwise, it may be the end of the clip. The end of the video. It's been great having you here. Hit the like and subscribe. Um, and uh, whew, we'll see you next time.